Yo, what is up guys? SEJP here with a video. Not even sure what gameplay I'm going to use for this, but uh, I'm just going to have some gameplay behind here so you guys can enjoy that. Hopefully it's a good gameplay. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to make a quick video. It's uh, 2.56, so 3 a.m. in the morning. Um, turned up on Gamma right now. Like, it's actually ridiculous because this shit just gets you fucking hypey as hell, dude. It's ridiculous. I, I don't even know. I... I got off work around 10 o'clock and uh, hopped on the game and drank some Gamma, dude, and I'm not even tired. Like, stuff's awesome, but it's definitely a good product. Um, so today, I guess I just wanted to talk about random stuff. Like, um, I guess the struggles of working as a teenager in, in high school and trying to balance that with sports, competitive gaming and stuff. Like, where, like, uh, where your priorities should lie and where my priorities have lied. Recently, um, obviously, it, summer just started, which is awesome. I, I don't have to worry about school anymore. And so, basically, all I'm doing is grinding for Anaheim and work. And um, it sucks because I have to go to work a lot when I just want to be on the game. And, like, I feel like uh, it takes a lot of time, like, just to get to work and just go to work for five hours at a time. Or, like, re recently, I've been working, like, doubles on Saturdays. So, I'm working, like, nine, ten hours and... It just it sucks because that's time taken away from me getting to play the game and like it's a bummer because like I need to work because the way I bought my flight to Anaheim the way I get to pay for hotel and pay for team pass and everything else is because I got a job and so I know that having a job is fully worth it and it just sucks that I can't just let it go but I feel like um, another struggle I am like really trying to figure out is. I play soccer, um, I'm on the varsity team for my high school, and I, I don't know what I want to do, because this summer, my varsity coach wants me to get me all ready for my senior year, and he wants to like, uh, start developing all of us, and we're doing like summer stuff, and we have camps and all that stuff, and uh, I'm not sure where I want to put my time, if I want to put my time into working out a ton, or if I want to put it into gaming, and for this next month, I've decided that gaming is like my number one thing that I'm worried about, because... I've spent money on Anaheim. I know I'm getting more and more confident in my gameplay every single day. I feel like I'm becoming a better and better player. I'm learning a lot. I feel like my team's learning a lot, and we're just playing really well together, and we're just figuring stuff out. We're, like, competing with really good teams. I, I mean, they, like, we have our maps and stuff, but I, we definitely, like, I feel like in a month's time we'll be able to compete at a really high level, hopefully do awesome at Anaheim and just turn some heads, but... The thing that I'm seriously struggling with, though, is just the, the balance of the two. Like, what am I going to do when it comes to after Anaheim? Like, am I going to start focusing on soccer? Am I going to start focusing on work? Am I going to just keep playing COD? Like, that's why this next month is huge for me because I, I make the decision of, okay, I'm going to keep playing COD because I have a potential in this and I can see, like, my growth and where, I'm, where I was, where I am, where I want to be. Or am I going to enjoy my senior year? do it up with my friends, like, play soccer, do all that stuff, and work. So, I mean, it's pretty tough to find the balance. And then you have, the obviously, the family obligations, like us, family time and stuff, because I still live at home with my parents and all my brothers and sisters. So, that's tough, too. So, I mean, it just feels like there's not enough time. But luckily, with school being out, I have this next three months to figure everything out and balance it all out. And so, with these three months being open, I just want to figure out, all right, what's going to be my, what, what's about my life? Like, what, what do I want to do with my life? Where do I want to go? And is gaming my future? Like, look at what Optic is doing. They just got a house together. Like, that is absolutely mind-blowing. Obviously, Envious has their house. Fear has their house. Fear, like, doesn't really have anyone in it. And Envy doesn't even have the full squad in it yet. But I just feel like the fact that Optic is taking these players away from college, which I'm not blaming them for it, but away from college, which is the way everyone sees you have to find future, like or like the way you have a good future is through college, and you, you have to go to college to make money, you have to go to college to do this, you have to do, go to college to do that. So I feel like it's crazy to think that these guys are, are pursuing this huge dream, this obsolete, tiny dream, and they're just going all in with it, and they have the full support, and you know what, why not do it? I mean, these guys are some of the best players in the world. They have some of the, probably the best sponsor, I would have to say, because Optic is awesome behind them. Hex is just great for them, and he does a ton of stuff for them. So, I mean, why not take advantage of this opportunity? Scumpy's given up college. Like, he even said it himself. He said, no college for me, pursuing the dream. Like, 
I would love to be able to say that when I graduate in a year. Like, that would just be, that would be a dream come true. And, I mean, maybe it won't happen for me. Maybe something else. But I just want to figure out what's going on in my life. And I feel like this next month is a big part of it. But I also feel like this next month could be, like, a, a like eye-opening for me. And be like, I have to come to reality and be like, okay, I need to take this serious. I need to focus up on school. I need to get into a good college. I need to follow the path that everyone's telling me to follow. And then I can just have my fun on the side and just turn gaming into a casual thing because gaming at this level it, it, you need to put in time it, it is the truth like you have to put in a lot of time especially when you're not the best obviously teams that aren't that are, that are already at the best the like top level if they want to stay the best they have to grind if they want to be the best they have to grind if you're an amateur you have to grind three times four times harder because you have not proved yourself at all and even the amateurs who have proved themselves still have something to prove because they're still an amateur. And so these MLG events are not just times to prove yourself, but times to shine and then make a name for yourself and then get a future. Because it's not just about one event. It's about the whole season. And then what happens after the season is there's another game. And after the game, is it's consistency throughout many games and many games and many games. And so you got to keep going through and um, you, it's, it's tough because these MLG events have crazy competition. I mean, insane. There's probably eight teams who could get first place at this next MLG event at MLG Anaheim. I mean, it is dead serious. Like the amount of teams, I think there's probably like 25 teams that have the potential to place top 16, 16, at least teams that have the potential to top place top eight. Like it is insane. The amount of competition and, it's just going to be interesting, and it's going to be even harder and harder every single time because amateurs are grinding harder. Pros are realizing that, so they're grinding harder. And so you need to grind. Like, you have to put in the time, and it can't just be playing the game. you got to do the extra stuff. you got to go to theater. you got to watch your gameplay. you got to talk with your team. you got to work with your team. Everything's got to be there, and the chemistry has to be there. You have to find a team that you're going to stick with, that you're going to want to play with, Every time you hop on, you should not be like, oh my gosh, I do not want to play right now. I'm just going to get roasted by my teammates. Every time I have a, like a semi-bad game, they're just going to hurt me. Like, I can't, you can't be doing that. You got to have people that you really enjoy and that are on the same skill level as you. And I know you guys have probably heard this over and over and over again. But the reason you hear it over and over again is because it's true. And once you find that right combination of players... And that right combination of skill and the, the mentality of the right people. Like, you have to find the right mentality. Like, everyone on your team has to have the right mentality. And so, once you find that group of kids, it, it should be what you, like, everything you want. And so, that obviously is the hardest part. I don't deny that. I feel like the amateur community is super sketchy. It's really hard to find solid teammates that you can rely on. And so... Yeah, it's a struggle. I definitely agree. But that's why I feel like I was smart enough to bring in one of like my best friends. Like Bishy is an awesome kid. Me and him are really close. That's another story. But he he didn't even play this game. He probably missed out on the first three months, four months of this game. And uh, he, I basically said, hey, why don't you start playing again? Like you should start coming back. And he's like, all right, if you teach me the game, so. I had a little bit of experience. I had been playing the game more than he did, obviously, and so I, I taught him everything I knew, and now he's just an animal. Like he, he took what I, what he learned from me, and then he just built on it, and now he's freaking it. Like he's just a goat. And then we found Jaden, and Jaden's an awesome guy. He's a great leader. He brings a lot to the squad. He's a great anchor. He's actually learning it so good. And so these two guys, I feel like we we we've, we've even talked about like moving in together. I know it's like a like out there like. It's crazy to think that we would ever do that, and I, it obviously a lot of stuff can change in the time because I'm still in high school and I actually have to finish high school. There's no like dropping out of high school to move in with a gaming house. We actually have to finish high school, and so obviously I have my priorities set as finishing high school. I mean, just I found these guys who I am confident in, where I know they're gonna perform, and I know that at the end of the day we're all gonna be buds and we're all gonna just want to get better, and so I feel like. With that combination, we're just going to have a great, we're going to find success. And so the more success that we have, the better things go. And the better I feel going, like, 
keep continuing to play competitive gaming and th that's what's gonna keep me going is some success and seeing some change and some like me getting better as a player but anyways guys i've been talking for 10 minutes i don't even know what i was talking about just a random gameplay figured i'd get this out for you guys turned up on gamma at 3 a.m i'll see you guys later make sure you like and comment on the video thanks guys enjoy your night bye